Hi everyone, it's Mike here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it's time for week 14 over on our Mission Inspiration Facebook group. And this week, the prompt is Flow, chosen by my friend Karen, who's been staying with us over the weekend. So let me turn over to my other camera and I'll show you what I'm going to create using Flow as the prompt for this week. So this is the prompt for week 14 already. So the prompt is flow. So surrender to life's rhythmic current. Like a river, navigate with ease. Embrace the unfolding journey, unburdened by resistance. Allow your essence to meld with the stream of existence. In the fluid dance, discover harmony, resilience, and the effortless beauty of going with the flow. There we go. So I've got some watercolour cardstock that I've already cut out in the right size for my art journal. So it's going to go on the back of that page for flow. So it's going to go on that part of the page there. So with it being flow, obviously you immediately think of liquids and water. So that's what we're going to do with the art journal page today. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give the page a quick coat of clear gesso. I'm a little bit out of breath today. I've just run up the stairs <laughs> really quickly after putting some food out for the pups. Ian's taken them out for their WALK and it's raining. So <laughs> they're not going to be pleased. So I'm just going to give the paper a quick coat of gesso. This is clear gesso, but you could use white. It doesn't make any difference as the base. I'm only using the clear because I've got more of it. My white gesso is nearly out. So just give it a quick blast of gesso on the page. And all this does is just helps to seal the page a little bit. So it will enable any kind of liquid paint or colour. And we're going to be using watercolours today, or a particular type of watercolour. So it's going to allow it to sit on the surface and not be soaked into the watercolour cardstock straight away. So there'll be a little bit of resistance, a little bit of um, resistance for the water not to soak in, if that's making any sense. I'm not really making much sense today, am I? Right, or ever. So I'll just quickly give that a, a blast. I can find where the switch is. There we are. That should do us. It's created a little bit of space. So what I've got is I've got some water here, just in a spritz bottle. And I have my collection of Indigo Blue Eco Refills. So these are those beautiful watercolour car, uh, watercolour pigments from Indigo Blue. So these are the Eco Refills. They normally come in a spritz bottle. Um, I've just remembered that my swatch card with all the colours on isn't here. Just hang on a sec. There it is. All right, so these are all the colours that I've got. So we've got like orange, like a, a, a burgundy kind of colour, a blue, a yellow, a purpley colour, another red colour. Actually, there's three red colours, isn't there really? Um, a real red. So there's a brown, there's a green and a black. Sheriff of Nottingham. There we go. So these are all kind of like Robin Hood names. So you've got Alan and Dale, Fry, so Little John. Loxley Yellow, Maid Marian, Much Miller, The Original Oak, Robin Hood, Sheriff of Nottingham and Will Scarlet being the red one, obviously. So I'm going to kind of follow the colour scheme of the prompt today. So we're going to use orange and blue mostly. So it's going to be Alan Adele and Little John. Those two we're going to do. So let's just see if I can find them. Robin Hood, Loxley Yellow, Little John. So that's the blue. Made my own sheriff of Nottingham. Fry it. So it will be the last one, obviously. Alan Adele. There we go. It's always the last one you look at, isn't it? I don't know. Right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some water, a little bit of water on my brush. And I'm going to push that back down again there. It's just so I can create a little bit of a hinge to get a bit of movement. And I'm going to add some water just onto the page. 
Now, bearing in mind, we have added gesso. Um, we've got the little Allen Dale, which is the orange. Put a couple of drops of that on the work. So if you don't need a lot, give that a little bit of a spritz. Mix it up. I told you, you didn't need a lot. And just let that kind of run and flow. There's that word into that water that we've already put down. Like so. So just let that sit and run like that. And I'm gonna do the same. Actually, let's just spritz the paper directly. Let's see what else we get. That's lovely. Just dab it on. Let it do its own thing. Let it pool, let it sit. And then if you wanted to, you could just add a little bit more water and then lift that up, let it run, bring it back. Actually, let's take that one off so we can lift it the opposite way. Pick it up and let it flow that way. And then back again. Let it run. Let it run. I'm trying to keep it just in that kind of space, that diagonal kind of shape. Right. About there. Grab some kitchen towel. Just lift that off. And then I'm just gonna give this a gentle heat with the heat gun because I don't want it to blow it all over the place. So I'm gonna heat it from the top. So what I'm gonna do next, now that the orange is dry, is just add some more of that water. Oops, I didn't clean my brush properly there, did I? and then just add some of that blue. And I'm gonna start building the color up. There we go. Start building the color up, layer by layer. So just start adding the colour in, following the line of the water, let it do its own thing. And then again, I'll spin that round. Let's just use the spritzer. Now I will reactivate some of the orange, but that's okay. And it will kind of mix. So this will be quite light. See how that's pooling where the what the cardstock is starting to buckle. But that's okay. What I want to do is just add some concentrated colour into the blue. There we go, just to get a bit of stronger colour into that. That's it. Well, that just flicked then. That's all right. Don't mind that. I'll let that work its way into the water. Clean my brush a little bit. Uh, just a tad more water down there. Can you grab that kitchen towel? And then we can just start to manoeuvre that colour around a little. Oh, see how that's just run all the way down there. 
that's cool all right and now we're going to try and get that dried off and then we'll add a little bit more of the orange it's quite a lot it will lighten up when it dries the blue's now dry so what i'm going to do is introduce some more of the orange a bit more concentrated this time grab the water and again i love the darker lines where the water's been pooling so now i just want to add a little bit more just to kind of Strengthen that colour. Just let the brush tickle and run. That's it. Just let the tip of the brush do its thing. where it kind of overlaps a little you get a different variation in color but that's fine and again quick clean up get that dry now that we've got some more of that vivid color in place and I'm going to start to line it up a little bit by adding in some um, some ghosting. So for that, I've got some water. This is one of my favourite kind of techniques, where we just take water and just start dripping it onto the page, and then letting it just sit for a second or two. Just let it reactivate. Just clean it around the outside first. Just give it a second or two just to sit on the surface, reactivate the colour underneath. And then I'm just going to take some kitchen towel and then I'm just going to roll it over the top. And that should just lift off that colour where it's been sitting. Like so. And you can see how much colour we've taken off on the actual kitchen towel in itself, which is a work of art on its own. So I'll just give that a second or two to dry, have a quick clean up, and then I'll be right back. So now that's kind of dry, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use one of those domed ink blending foams. Um, and my dot gain stencil this is one of my stencils which is available on the website if you're interested um, but instead of using any color or ink or anything like that I'm just going to use water so I'm going to put some water down on the mat and I'm going to use the foam get it wet let it soak into the foam so that it's damp and then I'm going to bring the stencil in and then I'm just going to line it up a little bit and then I'm going to just go through just lightly and then just start dabbing. A little bit too much water on there I think. Just get it damp. too much water on that. I think it just needs to be a little bit damp. So maybe that was a bad idea. <laughs> Let's put that away. Or what we could do, just try and soak up some of that colour. And have I got a blue ink that I could use just really quickly. 
Hmm, chipped sapphire maybe, which is a bit darker. So maybe just put a little bit of that colour back in. Oh, it's damp, isn't it? It's wet. Cardstock's still wet, so oh, yes. That will do nicely. Just add a little bit more texture into the background. I like that. I like it a lot. All right, now then, let's see if we can add, let's see if I've got an orange one that I could use. That'll do. And then let's use Rusty Hinge. Come on. Ugh. Rusty Hinge. Lovely stuff. Let's just quickly give that a wipe out. Just adds another subtle layer into what we've been doing. And I'm just going down the page over the orange sections. Just to get that kind of contrast in those colours. That'll do nicely. All right, so we'll give that a minute or two to dry and then I'll be back. Okay, so now everything's had a little bit of a time to dry, I'm going to use a brand new stamp. So this is a new stamp being launched on April the 19th. I think it's Friday, April the 19th. So this has been launched through Indigo Blue. So this is one of many over the next coming months that's going to be released. Uh, this is going to be released in a range of other stamps, um, all to do with women. So they're all going to be lovely women's faces. And I'll give you a quick sneak peek of the other two. So this is the one that I've done. There's that one. And then there's that one. So these will be released in a set of three, but you'll be able to buy them individually, obviously. Um, but I'll just have this one on my website because this is the only one that I've actually designed for Indigo Blue. So, and then the ones after that will actually have my logo on them. So this is one that I designed after a, an art journal page that I did a while ago, and everybody said how much they would like to have the image of the lady um, as a stamp, so I duly obliged and got Indigo Blue to create it. Um, the art journal page I'm talking about was in January. Let me see if I can find it real quick. That one. So that's the one. All right, so just drop that down on there. I've got the wrong side on there. What's that doing on the wrong side? That's the way it should be. So let's try that again. Clearly the wrong side. So drop that down there and then we can ink up I have already conditioned the stamp and by conditioning I mean I've inked it up stamped it a couple of times After I got it. So down we go and it doesn't matter if you don't get the best first impression first time because we can always go back and do it again. The watercolour is, the watercolour card obviously is slightly textured. So let's go back. The problem with these is of course as well is that you do tend to press a bit too hard on them. <laughs> 
I didn't need to press quite so hard. You end up doing that CPR thing, don't you? There we go. Yeah, it's the textured cardstock and the fact I've got everything underneath it as well. But I like that. I like that a lot. All right, so let's just take that off. And put that to one side, that's why. I keep turning it around because I haven't cleaned it yet. But you can see the stamp. Once I've got that ink on there, you can see how it looks. And then what I'm gonna do is grab one of my ocean pens. There we go. And then I'm going to draw, I'm going to do some flowing fluid lines from the top so we'll go crisscrossing like so but we'll just do it into the orange Hello you, somebody's back from his WALK. Just fold the lines down that way. Liking that. Right, just get that dried off and then I'll be right back. So as you can see there, I just wanted to test the stamp just to make sure that it was the cardstock. <laughs> as you can see, I didn't even re-ink it either. So if I just added a little bit more to that, this must be a really, really juicy ink pad. Let's just put a little bit more there. And then just go down just a little bit round there. Yeah, you can see how nice that stamps just with a little bit of ink so i just put a little bit on so let me just turn that over do it again let's go straight down this time yeah it speaks for itself really and that's just a second impression love it Love it, love it, love it. Right, okay. Back to the journal page. I don't actually think I want to add a quote, but I could do. But I might do it just along there. And I'll do it by hand. It's still a little bit wet, so I've got to be really, really careful. I think just to finish it off, I'm just going to do a quick signature border. All the way around. It's always a good idea when you get a new stamp just to test it on different types of paper with a few different inks. 
just to see how it works on different types so you know in future if you're using watercolor cardstock which isn't super smooth not necessary to press quite so hard and obviously if you've got super smooth stamping card that you're using don't put a lot of ink on it because you don't need it there we go I like that I like it a lot okay let's just let it dry for a second and then i'll be back all right so let's get this stuck down got some glue there we are Will I open that or close it? That's much better. There we go. So flip that over and then drop that down onto there. So I'll probably need just to hold this down a little bit because it's buckled with the water that we've used. So I'll need to put a few heavy pots of stuff on just in the corners, <laughs> just to hold it down. <laughs> For a minute or two, and then I'll be back. Okay, so now that's had a chance to just press down a little bit, I'm just going to pop in and just sign it down here. And then put today's date, which is the 7th. There we go. So that is my art journal page for Flow for week 14 of the Mission Inspiration. So I hope you've enjoyed watching me create this art journal page today. If you have, please remember to give the video a thumbs up as it really does help spread the word about my YouTube channel. Don't forget, you can share the video with your friends if you want to. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. And also, if you want to join us over in our Mission Inspiration Facebook group, I'll put the URL of the group on the screen there, but there will be a clickable link below the video. That's all from me for this week. I will see you all again in the next. Bye for now. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible and don't forget you can access your exclusive angel only content over on my website there's a link in the description area below thank you